So example, we're going to be selecting a form and we're going to be modifying the multiple choice options of the form contents. I'm going to modify the form. So we need to select the form that we want to modify. I do have a few that I've already created. So we're going to be selecting those ones. The best way to do it is to just go to the web URL of the form that you want to access and update. Grab the ID from the web URL and keep that as a string value within your Google Apps script. And that will allow us an easy way to access that form. So let's uh, now select that form object. And we can do that by using the form app service and then open by ID. And this is where we can specify the ID of the form. So it's going to give us access to the form object. And then we want to get all of the items that are within the form. So checking through the form and we can get the items that are in the form. And this will return back an array of items. And then for those items, we can loop through each one of those and get the item out as we iterate through. And we can get the item information. So within the logger log, we take out the item. And here we can uh, get the title for the item. So let's uh, run the code. And then there's our form information. So we've only got the two items there within the form. So as we're going through, we can update and set different values. So checking to see, so items. And if we want to update that particular one where we've got the items with the index value of one. So let's uh, take items and then index value of one. So this is our multiple choice item. And then we can get as multiple choice. So let's set a variable. So getting it as the multiple choice item. So taking the multiple choice set choice values and we can update the choice values so we can have different choice values. And then let's uh, run through and we're modifying the form. So now we've modified it where we've got different values there. So originally it was red, blue, green, yellow. And now when we refresh the form, so there's our new modified values. So let's say you can select and update the form contents using the form ID.